Right, good morning. We're doing a driving test route at Belvedere. So I'm just pulling off from just in front of the test centre. So it's a one-way street. So check out your blind spot, your white blind spot, because cars can come up behind you. So at the end of the road, we're turning left. This is a one-way street. So you want to make sure you're over on the left-hand side, but not too close to that curb, because that curb sticks out. Check your blind spots, out I come. I'm out to Woolwich Road. Got a speed camera just in front of me, 30. So just be aware of your speed. I've got that van, so I've just slowed down a little bit. So I'm just being aware of the weather. It's been raining, which means you're stopping distances. You know all this, you've done your theory. So I'm currently doing 28 miles an hour, it's a 30 mile limit. I'm not holding anyone up. I can see the car in front of me. I can see the van behind me. So the sat nav is telling me my next direction will be left at the lights. Got a zebra crossing coming up. Having a look left and right. Make sure there's no one on it, there's no one on it, easy. As I come into this bit of the road, the road splits into two lanes. I am on the left lane. If I'm looking up the road, I don't know if you can see it, I've got roadworks on the left. So, mirror, mirror, right signal, just to come over. Temporary road signals there. So, Normally I'd be in the left lane, but I can't be in the left lane, obviously, because it's coned off. So I'm letting everyone know where I'm going to go. I'm going to be turning left. I'm waiting for these lights to change. I've been here a week now. Feels like it. Right, so the cars on my right have stopped. And then of course here come the cars on the left. Could it be us next, or is it going to be that white car opposite? You guessed it, we're last to move. So if I was really good at editing skills, on the old phone and the computer, I'd edit this bit out, or speed it up or anything, but I can't, I'm useless at things like that. So. Do it yourself, just tap the uh, screen, it'll go for over 10 seconds, you know the score. <clears throat> right, so we know, unless the gods are really against us, we're going to be turning left next. So I'm preparing the car, I'm putting it into first gear, finding my bike, I've set a little bit of gas. I'm ready to move. There we go, just before I move, I checked my side mirrors just to make sure I 
have no one creeping up beside of me. So I'm now on Brampton Road, it's 30. Nice and easy, no need to rush. Coming out to Crossroads, so as I approach here, I'm just gonna have a little look to the left and right, just to make sure that no one's uh, being dangerous and coming out. Up in front of me, I can see a white car reversing out of their driveway. So I'm just easing off my gas a little bit to slow down, give me more time to turn. They have now turned, they're out of the road, we can increase our speed. I'm looking at that, the car's on the uh, car on the right, and this one on the left to see if they do anything dangerous, like they might suddenly open their door, so it's just keep an eye on that all the time. So at the end of the road, we're coming to the roundabout Brampton Road. <coughs> we're going second exit straight ahead. So I approach it, I slow down. No need to give a signal yet. Didn't give way to my right. Cyclist coming around, got a bus. And then there's my chance. As I come around, check my left mirror, signal left, off I go. Then here, I come up to here, know these shops, I've got another roundabout. I am turning right at this roundabout, so you can see it was straight ahead right. The arrow says right, uh, straight ahead. So I'm having a little look, is it free for me to go? It is, come round the roundabout, check my left mirror, signal left, I'm off. I'm still in Brampton Road. On this road we know there's loads of uh, mini roundabouts down the bottom. So I'm just gonna be aware of them. To the road, the road is going to bear to the right. Another zebra crossing, I'm looking left, right, right, left. Make sure there's no one on it, but I'm walking towards it. for zebra crossings. So, I'm just going to slow myself down, come back in second gear, just in case I do have to stop. On this one, I've given way to anyone who's coming towards me. The next one, I have to actually give way to my right. So have a little look to my right, nothing coming around. As I get off them, increase my speed, up the gears I go. And again, zebra crossings. So, I can see there's a road to my right, so that's the way I'll be giving way to. As I approach it, I slow down, just to give myself a little bit more time. A little look to my right, all clear, I'm off. Road near Crooklock Sports Centre. I've got this white van parked. I'm checking on the other side of the road, checking my mirrors before I pull out. Because if other cars were these cars were closer, I'd obviously have to give way to them. Then I've got a line of traffic, I've got a zebra crossing, so I don't want to stop on top of that zebra crossing. So I checked I had enough space to go into before I drove forward. But then also, I don't want to go too close to the car in front. Tires and tarmac. As I come along, see this green car is turning right. So if I just slide my speed a little bit, check my mirrors, let him come round. Because what you don't want to do, you don't want to block that junction so he can't get out. Because <coughs> then if he had cars coming up behind him, we're causing chaos. So just plan and be aware of any roads. That are coming up that people could want to turn into. Like this one here. This is a grey car in front. It's gone forward and I've left enough space for any car to go in or come out of that junction. Forward thinking.
Traffic starts to move, engage gear, farming by it. Check the mirrors left to right. Off I go. <coughs> Just watching that lady with a dog. To make sure the dog didn't put her out in the road. So, at the traffic lights at Crook Log, I'm turning right. Tires and tarmac. So I can see cars are starting to move, so I start to move, checking my mirrors, then I go inside mirror, right mirror, right signal. And then I can see from the sat that I'm turning left again at the next set of lights. So as I come around the corner, it's going to open up into two lanes. I'm going to put myself into that left lane. See on the lights I've got a green arrow telling me it's okay to go left, so I can go mirror, mirror, left signal again. signal, I'm doing a left into Bean Road. So I'm watching this pedestrian. She's not at the corner yet. So I don't think she's walking across the road. So I'm into Bean Road. So there's cars parked on both sides of the road. So as I'm driving up the road, I'm driving up the middle of the road, I'm being aware anyone who could come towards us, which may, may mean I have to pull over, hold back and let them through. Luckily for me, no one is coming yet. At the end of the road, we're going to be turning right. Right onto Alice Road. So I'm going to get up to the end of the junction. First gear, right, left, right, off up on. Again, it's speed umps. Speed umps are here for a reason to slow you down, so don't take your examiner on a magical mystery tour of doing any speed up at 30 miles an hour. It's not good for him, it's not good for the car. Remember, he might be having an absolute fucking shit day and during his last lesson of the day, if you're taking him over speed umps too fast, he's going to think, I'm not into this <clears throat> to try and keep me in a good mood. We've got a mini roundabout coming up. We're going straight ahead at the mini roundabout. So, I'm having a look, there's no one coming, and I'm free to go. Off we go. It's downhill. I can't see over the top of the hill, down the bottom. So I'm slowing myself down in case anything comes around this corner. Then we can see we've got a bus holding up the corner. I've also got a blue car that is probably going to be trying to get through. He could get through that, I thought. So I'm just going to hold back. Just hold back and let these cars through because we're not gaining much by me going through and just sitting behind that black car. So the last one's coming through, I've checked my mirrors, I'm good to go. Go take the road on your right. So mirror out, mirror out, right signal into Sandhurst Road. And I can see another car. 
car coming down there. So what I've done is I've held back. Check my mirrors, there's no one behind me. I've held back so he can come through because there was nowhere for them to go. And then I'm off. I've got this man collecting the rubbish on my left hand side, so I'm just keeping aware of him. I must apologise if it was a her. Right, so at the end of the road, we are turning left back onto Dancer Road. So we've just done a square about Dancer Road. So we go mirror, mirror, left signal. Up the hill, I want to get as top of the hill as I can. Just give me an easy chance to get out. So I'm looking to the traffic on my right. I've got a little Fiat 500 going past me and they've got a massive gap. So off I come, I'm out. So I'm going to be turning left here, following signs to Dover, Dover and A2. So I've got two lanes, need mirror, mirror, left signal. I'm having a look to my right, as I approach it, I can see there's nothing coming around, so I am off. Right, so this road is still 50. This test route takes you onto the A2. So I can see the signs above, 50 miles an hour.
road is Tanley Road. So mirror, mirror, right signal. So I want to put myself on the right hand side of my side of the road. Just let's put behind us, see what we're doing. Checking right, left, right, safe to come out, off I come out, in first gear, drop it in the seconds, increase my speed. Into the road, got the roundabout. Just before Bexley Heath Shopping Centre, we're going left there, so I'm going to go mirror, mirror, left signal. There's normally a lot of traffic from the right hand side here, so I've been prepared to have a look, have a little look to my right. It's just dropped off, there I go. Around the corner, where that's ever crossing. New road, new mirror. Another zebra crossing, I'm going to have a little look at that. No one approaching it, no one on it. So we're coming up to Pure Nightclub, a little round about there. We're going straight ahead. So I'll use the left hand lane, slow yourself down. Have a little look to your right, make sure you're looking at car park as well because people come out of there and try and follow your curve. Alright, there we go. And then we're going left at this little magic roundabout. So I've got zebra crossing. People don't think it's a zebra crossing, but it is. Alright, so off I go, she's crossed. Look to my right, this is a roundabout. No one coming on my right. Nice and easy. And I'm going to be turning right into Church Road. So Put myself in the middle of the road. Got a nice little junction box I can sit in here. I've signalled, it's letting me come out. Thank you very much. If you hadn't signalled, I'd have just waited there until a perfect opportunity for me to come out. So I'm driving up this little church road. It's very tight. If you have a car parked on the left or right, it makes it a really big, tight road. So if you have to, hold back. Don't cause a situation where you're both stuck in the middle of the road. Again, these are big speed ups. And at the end of the road, we're coming to a little roundabout. We can either go left or right. We're going to be going right, right. So I'm watching this white van. It's pretty that. It's got reverse lights on. So I'm just checking that it doesn't come out of the way. So mirror, mirror, right signal. As I approach the roundabout, back in second gear, nice and easy. Round the roundabout, fish, left signal one, let everyone know what I'm doing. There we go. Now on Belvedere Road, so we're heading back to Belvedere Test Centre. Loads of cars parked on the left. So you don't want to rush through here because you don't know what's behind these cars. Looking down the road, I can see a white car just coming out. I can see the red car just done a turn in the road and then pulled off. So I was just making sure that they weren't going to do that just to be up beside them. Thankfully, they've done it before. Right, so we're coming up to a roundabout. This is the roundabout on, I think it's Long Lane. Straight ahead, second exit. So, I'm going to slow my car down, check my mirrors, back into second gear, have a little look to my right, it's clear, and come round. Let's go past the first exit, check my left mirror, signal left, I'm off. As I'm into the new mode, check the mirror behind me, new road, new mirror. There we go, Belvedere Road, so this is a 30 mile an hour road still. This is Beedemore Road, sorry. So 
Mark says Simon on the left. School. If you're doing test during school time, well, it could be kicking out. It could be a little bit busy here. Right, so the roundabout going straight ahead. As I approach it, check my mirrors start to slow down. Back into second gear. Can't really see around this corner because of the bushes. Have a little look. I've got a car coming, so I might slow down and stop. Check again. Fantastic, there's my chance to go. To the left mirror, single left. Off I go, into second gear. So if you've been preparing for your test at Belvedere, you will obviously know where you are now. You're heading back to the test centre. You're about a mile away from the test centre. So if you know you're on your way back, don't get overexcited. Don't think, I've done this, I've done this, because people fail their test in the last couple of minutes, just when they start to relax. So we are going straight ahead at this roundabout. I would use the right hand side of the road. Have a little look to my right, nothing coming. Check my mirrors, signal left, I am off. Right, this road, we know it because the car's parked on the left makes it very awkward. If there's a van or a bus coming down, it might mean you have to stop on the left. I can see out the road, I can see a dustman's car coming down. So I'm gonna slow down, let them come. In first gear, check my mirrors as I move out. I've got this van as well. Then we've got the van parked on the left. So I'm just making sure the road, because I'm crossing the road, just making sure it's nice and clear for me to do so. Then we're coming up to the triangle by the village. All right, so we're going left here. So we're watching this lady on the zebra crossing. No, she's not going to affect me because she's going the other way. Perfect, as I come round, stay on the left hand side because traffic could join you on that right. So just make sure you're aware of everything. So watching out for these joggers and this man with his dog. And then we're going to be turning left back into the test centre. So as we approach it, you can't really see round this corner. So, nice and slow. Mirror, mirror, left signal. I'm going to slow the car down, come back into second gear, and as I go around, have a look, good look into the road to make sure it's clear. There we go, the test centre on the left. I'm going to pull up on the right, mirror, mirror, right signal. As I come over, do not touch the kerbs. Right, hope this helps. Good luck.